know, many waking up this morning to severe thunderstorms sweeping through Acadia and dropping hail, as you see in this video, and toppling trees in portions of our area. Yeah, we had that hail in Broussard and Youngsville and winds across the area over 80 miles an hour, causing a lot of damage. Yeah, we are finally getting some reports and seeing all of that damage. Welcome back to News 15 at noon. I'm Taylor Troche and I'm Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier. Thanks for joining us. And we do have team coverage this afternoon in some of those hardest hit areas by these severe storms. Storm Track 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley and our Drake Crawler Francois are in Acadia Parish. And our Al Bear is in St. Landry Parish surveying the damage there. We're going to check in with them in just a minute, but first we do need to take another look out Side. It's crazy the drastic difference between early this morning mm -hmm. and what we're seeing right now, Adam. That is right, Taylor. You know, we are looking at some much quieter weather, although we still have some warnings out there. A lot of these are river flood warnings or well, flood warnings for rivers, including the Mermintaw and the Vermilion, but we're not seeing any severe weather. No tornado warnings, no severe thunderstorm warnings. Radar is showing there's nothing really to track. The farther west you go, maybe a sprinkle or two, some showers, some rumbles of thunder still though around Morgan City getting into lower St. Martin Parish, but that is about it. Our Hub City Tower camera showing those dark gray skies off in the distance, but we've actually seen some sunlight at times and our temperatures are starting to rebound. We're at 70 in Lafayette, Crowley, Opelousas, 71 in Ville Platte. Our winds still gusty at times. They're a little variable too. 5 to 10 to 15 miles an hour sustained gust to around 20. We do have a wind advisory in place until 7 p.m. But through the next few hours, we'll see a mixture of sun and clouds, temperatures near 80. And we are going to talk about improving conditions further in your forecast. But let's check in with Taylor. All right, Adam, thank you. And we are going to check back in right now with Storm Track 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley. He was in Church Point when we last checked in with him. There were down trees and down power lines in that area. Michael, good afternoon. What other damage have you found so far over there? We have made our way into Eunice now in uh, portions of Acadia Parish, northern Acadia Parish, when we have received calls about a tree that fell onto a residence, and that's exactly what we're looking at right now. They've already cut it apart just for the most part, but take a look at the size of this tree, and you can see on top of that roof right there, that's exactly how strong or how heavy this tree was, how strong these winds were, and it's been a very, very stormy day across Acadiana, and people were thinking that this may be localized, but I've had to tell every one of these homeowners, this is not just you. There are tons of people out there dealing with the same thing, trees down, power lines down, power out, all sorts of different things. They also said they had golf ball sized hit here in Eunice. Been a very hectic morning. Things are quieted down now. The cleanup is still underway though. As you can see, they're still cutting down most of this tree. It's gonna be a while because that's pretty pretty big tree but we're going to be expecting more cleanup as we go into the next few hours for the rest of Acadia. It looks like we lost Michael there for, for a minute. He's going to have more coverage coming up on first at four. But right now, let's go ahead and check in with our Drakar Francois. He was also in Church Point. Drakar, what's going on out there? What are residents telling you? Well, Taylor, right now, as you can see, you know, it's a complete turnaround from this morning. I mean, the sun is shining, but for the residents here on LA 365, the power is still out and it's been out since six in the morning. Now, during that time, it was heavy rains and also heavy winds that left this right here on the ground in this man's yard. David, let's give him a little pan. It's, this is what's left of his roof as of right now. And after speaking with the man, he said uh, on his roof, he was hearing uh, uh, loud thumping and rains and winds and David let's show him up here on top of his roof as you can see just in the right corner is where uh, the only piece of his roof is left and right now there are workers uh, cleaning up the mess right now and trying to get everything together and uh, speaking with neighbors along LA 365 everything is still uh, going underway work is still being done and the electricity is still out live in um, live in Church Point, Dracar Francois, News 15, and I'll send it back over to you in the studio, Taylor. All right, thank you, Dracar. And moving to St. Landry Parish now, we're checking back in with our very own Al Abair. He is in the community of Beggs, where a string of down power lines are. Al, what's the latest over there? Are crews currently working? Hey, Taylor. 
We are in St. Landry Parish. Uh, as you can see, we're on a Highway 10. The road's blocked off. We are about a mile from the little community of Beggs and about six miles from LeBeau. And what we have out here is 10 power poles that have been knocked down by the wind. Uh, and some of them are broken. There may be some that are just out of the ground. But from what we can see, a lot of these things look like they've actually snapped. And uh, they're going to start repairing them. We have crews from Slimco out here. Uh, there's also some contract workers out here. Uh, they say they may have this done by the end of the day. Power will be back. Uh, you know, it's a big change in the weather. It was so hectic out here this morning. Uh, beautiful right now. Nice cool breeze blowing. Uh, but this is going to be fixed by the end of the day. We're going to go back to you in the studio. All right, Al, thank you. If you guys want to stay up to date on the damage and road closures in our area, head on over to our website, KDN.com. Everything you need will be right there. Let's check in now with Adam Olivier. Just a reminder, one other thing we're following out in Opelousas by the Yambly building. It was actually behind the Yambly building. A tree fell on a car, injuring four individuals, one in critical. So we're going to continue to follow that for you and those improvements to your forecast with a nice breeze out here in Crowley.